Jessie V and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the dancing plague of 1518. This is one of the craziest parts of our history and I could not believe I haven't talked about it on this channel before. I think I might have mentioned it in a passing fact in one of my videos on history but I've never done a whole video dedicated to it and it just blew my mind while I was doing research that this actually happened in real life and it's still kind of unsolved which really creeps me out. Before I get started though I just want to mention a few things on our website right now. The first, as you guys have seen me talk about the past few videos, we have the galaxy necklaces back up on our website. This is a mystery item. It comes in like 20 different colors and styles and it's like a globe with a galaxy inside. I think they're so cool but they're selling out so quickly. We're constantly sold out because you guys love it so thank you so much. So I'll link it down below in the description for you. And we also came out with these hilarious new plushies. We've got a little donut that says bite me and there's actually a little piece bitten out of the plushie, which I love. We got a burger that says, I like big buns and I cannot lie. <laughs> it's just so funny. We got a little pizza that says, I'm good even when I'm bad. I love this pizza plushie so much because I love pizza. We got a little teacup that says, calm the hell down. And there's a little tea thing coming out of it. I love it. And we got a little champagne dude that says, bubbles over troubles. So if you guys like any of these items, I will link them down below for you. Okay, so let's talk about how this whole dancing plague started. In July of 1580, a woman stepped into the street and began dancing completely out of the blue. She seemed unable to stop and she kept dancing until she collapsed from exhaustion. She would collapse and lie on the ground for a few minutes and then after resting she would get up and resume the compulsive frenzied activity. Now people were so confused by her behavior obviously. Like imagine just doing your daily ritual walking to work and seeing like a lady break dancing in the street, you would be a little bit confused. She danced so much that her feet became bruised and bloody, and her husband was just bewildered by what she was doing. It was completely out of character for her. Well, this woman continued doing this for the next few days, and within the week, another 30 people were similarly afflicted and joined in. They all kept dancing long past the point of injury. They would just dance and dance with no food breaks or water breaks, and would literally just collapse. What's even more disturbing about all of this is that the dancers would become violent towards the observers if they would not join in. So they would be like dancing along, they would see Tommy watching them, they would try to pull Tommy towards their dance circle, Tommy would be like, no thank you, and they would like go and punch him in the face. So city authorities were alarmed by the ever increasing number of dancers, the civic and religious leaders theorized that more dancing was the solution. So they arranged to have these giant halls prepared for these dancers to gather in and they even got a ton of musicians to accompany the dancing. And I just find this so strange. The fact that there was this huge group of people just dancing sporadically throughout the town, like dancing so hard they were getting themselves hurt. And the leaders of the town were watching this and were just like, these people must love to dance. Let's encourage it. Instead of being like, hmm, something really strange is going on here. So these dance halls only made the problem worse until it became a contagion and as many as 400 people were eventually consumed by the dancing compulsion and a number of them even died from the exhaustion. And this went on for about two months until it slowly started to die down thankfully but two months is still a very long time to have constant dancing in the town. This 1518 event was the most thoroughly documented and the one people usually talk about. But what's odd is that there have been several dancing outbreaks throughout history. This dancing plague was happening on and off from the 10th to the 16th century. That is a long time. And all of this was happening in Europe, by the way. So let's talk about some possible explanations. The first one is that people thought maybe it was demonic possession, which I think sounds highly unlikely, especially when it has to do with 400 people. That's a lot of evil spirits to come into the town to inhabit these people's bodies. Investigators in the 20th century suggested that the afflicted might have consumed bread made from rye flour contaminated with a fungal disease called ergot, which is known to produce convulsions. So while it looked like they were dancing, it was just this fungus making them flail around, which is so creepy. This is kind of like if The Last of Us joined a dance party. But the most widely accepted theory was that the dancing plague was a form of 
mass psychogenic disorder. Outbreaks take place under circumstances of extreme stress and generally take form based on local fears. And back in 1518, people were stressed about famines and diseases like smallpox and syphilis, and these fears were overwhelming the residents of this town. But I still find this explanation very strange to believe. I mean, I've been stressed many times in my life, like very, very stressed, and it's never made my body force itself to dance, let me just say that. There were also other people that thought the townspeople were cursed and were forced to dance for the rest of their lives. So there are so many different explanations. The one that is thought to be the most correct is the one about the rye bread and the fungus, but still making 400 people like dance? is a very strange thing to happen. So this is still considered to be unsolved with some explanations. So let me know what you guys think of this down below in the comments. Which of the explanations do you think could be the cause? And if you like me talking about strange events from history, give this video a thumbs up and let me know because there's so many things I could cover. And if you have any ideas for me, definitely comment them down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget if you would like a galaxy ball necklace or one of our very funny but cute plushies, I've linked every everything down below, but I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Hey guys, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I launched my world this week. It's been so awesome seeing all of your amazing responses to it. I took some clips of people wearing their Coraline eyes and their Coraline sweaters. You guys looked so good. I was so excited to see all of you wearing those exclusive wearables. And I am so excited to get more people into the world. We're slowly gonna be rolling it out to more and more. So make sure you're signed up to the waitlist. I put the link down below in the description and I will see you in the world very, very soon.